Welcome to Common Prayer Daily, your guided meditation through scripture and prayer. This is a liturgy for Holy Cross Day. Let's pray. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be His kingdom now and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship Christ among us, our King and our God. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 98 Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous things. With His right hand and His holy arm, He has won for Himself the victory. The Lord has made known His victory. His righteousness has He openly shown in the sight of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice, and sing. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it, the lands and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands, and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord. When he comes to judge the earth, in righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Philippians, beginning with the second chapter, the fifth verse. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men, and being found in human form. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to John, beginning with the twelfth chapter, the thirty-first verse. Now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. And I, when I am lifted up from the earth, will draw all people to myself. He said this to show by what kind of death he was going to die. So the crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Christ remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? So Jesus said to them, The light is among you for a little while longer. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness overtake you. The one who walks in the darkness does not know where he is going. While you have the light, believe in the light, that you may become sons of light. When Jesus had said these things, he departed and hid himself from them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. 
He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In God's presence, think through the day ahead, the work you will do, the people you will encounter, the dangers or uncertainties you face, the possibilities for joy and acts of kindness, any particular resolutions you need to renew. Consider what might draw you from the love of God and neighbor, the opportunities you will have to know and serve God and to grow in virtue. Remember those closest to you and all for whom you have agreed to pray. Ask God's blessings, guidance, and strength in all that lies before you. Gather up these thoughts and reflections in the words that our Savior taught us to say. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, was lifted high upon the cross, that he might draw the whole world to himself, mercifully grant that we who glory in the mystery of our redemption may have grace to take up our cross and follow him, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, be gracious to us and bless us and shine your countenance upon us and have mercy on us. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Father is my hope, the Son my refuge, the Holy Spirit my protection. All Holy Trinity, glory to you. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for another prayer. As always, I will encourage you to visit our website, commonprayerdaily.com, where you can access our liturgy and more resources. And if you'd like to support this podcast and all of its endeavors to grow and to advance the gospel through the good news of Jesus Christ and through liturgies that bring us into prayer, you can do so by visiting patreon.com slash commonprayerdaily. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. We'll see you next time.